Dan Williams, Survive Outdoors. Today we're going to be addressing how long do mosquito bites, how long do they last? Why do they itch? As well as can you get HIV and hepatitis C from a mosquito bite? And how do you treat these guys? All right. So, how long do mosquito bites last? On average, they last approximately seven days. But that's really, it, there's so many variables in that. You know, the age of the person getting bit, a young child versus someone older, um, that is significant. For the most part, when a mosquito bites you, we've talked before about you have a mast cell release, you have histamine release, and you're going to have this reaction, you get a red bump. And that red bump and the itchiness is going to last for about three to four days, and the redness can last up to seven days. I've seen patients come in and it's been up to two weeks. So one of the falsehoods that is frequently asked is, are children that are blonde and red-headed kids, even adults, are fair-skinned individuals, they get worse bites? No, they don't. That is a myth. And I know all the blonde-haired, blue-eyed people out there are going to say, that's wrong. It does look like that because they're fair skin, but in reality, they don't. And I've seen mosquito bites get as big as a silver dollar, sometimes larger, and they itch terribly, and if you scratch them frequently, you can get them infected, no doubt. You can get a cellulitis of the skin. However, there is no evidence to show that blonde-haired individuals, red-haired individuals, fair skin, get a worse bite. Now, what's different about mosquito bites versus bee and wasp stings? A bee and wasp sting, if you get bit more frequently, you risk having a worse reaction. Not true with mosquito bites. In fact, the literature pans out that the more you get bit by mosquitoes, you are going to increase your immunity and you're going to have less and less down the road of a severe reaction. So you got an outdoors guy or an outdoors woman who's a farmer, whoever, and you're going to see that seven-year-old guy get bit by a mosquito. Oh, hell, it ain't going to do nothing, and he's right. It's probably going to do very minimal uh, versus a youngster at five or seven because they just haven't been bitten enough. So that's some of the, that's some of the data on that issue. And why do they itch? Well, we know about that. It, it is the histamine reaction. I just saw some pharmacist or doc that was talking about the fact that it is the saliva that makes it itch. That is absolutely 100% not true. It is not the saliva that makes it itch. It's the histamine reaction from the saliva that makes it itch. I know, I know. Semantics and I'm, you know, splitting hairs here. Nevertheless, uh, the histamine reaction is what causes the terrible itching. If you like this material, think it's interesting, you might learn something, love for you to subscribe. It really helps me out. Clearly, the more subscribers, comments, Tell me some treatments that you use for mosquito bites. I would love to have you follow us. All right. Can a mosquito bite someone with HIV and then bite you and give you HIV? Or can they bite someone with hepatitis C and give you hep C? So the answer for the HIV is a resounding no. Remember, the mosquito has a proboscis with six prongs on it that come down into one. And four of those are for cutting the skin one is for sucking the blood, and the other one is the, um, it injects saliva, which is uh, combined with protein and an anticoagulant so that blood can get up into the mosquito easier. So one thing they found out is the HIV virus gets destroyed by an enzyme in the mosquito, and it does not inject it because the mosquito's process, it's sucking that blood out, and it's injecting the saliva. So no, HIV absolutely not. Now, hepatitis C. There is some mixed reports on that. The vast majority say absolutely no way. See, here's the issue. The hep C is a flavovirus and Zika is a flavovirus. So, yeah, they were thinking, oh, well, look at this. You know, you're, you could get hep C. However, the data is not pan panning out. So, all these places where have tons of mosquito bites or endemic areas in the south, there should be a skyrocketing of hep C, and that's just not the case. And one of the best studies is out of Johns Hopkins on that. 
So no, you're not going to get hep C from a mosquito bite. So what's the best treatment? Well, it's scattered. I mean, is there a one number one best treatment for mosquito bites and stopping the itching? Not really. I mean, you can do a pill, an antihistamine, but if you're out fishing in a boat or you're doing something and, you know, you don't want to be drowsy, I don't know how good of an idea that is. Uh, it depends on the antihistamine and the side effects. Topicals work great. Uh, and there are tons of home remedies that work really well. Um, calamine lotion. And how does that work? Well, the drill in the lotion, plus uh, calamine has zinc oxide in it. And as it, the wind blows, it's a cooling effect and it dries the area. So that works good. I've heard of people using garlic as a paste. Just don't do it on your first date. Um, so you could do the garlic. You could do basil. Basil I hear is really good. And garlic and basil, and now you're going to cook some pasta, you're all set. So garlic, basil, calamine lotion. I like steroid creams. You can do an over-the-counter hydrocort, or the, some of the prescription ones. There's triamcinolone, betamethasone, and uh, one of my favorites is clobetazole. And that one, I feel, works really well. Now, when you use a steroid cream for something like this, you just put a little dab on the bite. And if you put a Band-Aid over it and cover it, it will not evaporate as quickly and it will be a little more potent. A little trick of the trade. So put it on twice a day, morning, bedtime, and you'll find that the itching is going to subside in about probably a day or two. And that's pretty awesome. And you'll notice effects within about an hour, but you'll get relief much quicker in the long run. In my opinion, I love the steroid cream. So that is one of the best methods for treating that. Coming up, we're going to talk about, I did a video a long time ago on the bug bite thing. It's a plunger. And what I've done recently is I have been diving into doing some research on that. And I'm here to tell you, I'm going to be eating some crow. And I'm going to come back and do a video on it because I got a ton of comments on that video. We're going to talk about the physiological mechanism of how that works, so stay tuned for that. All right, guys, keep your eyes on the horizon, your face to the wind, watch out for the skeeters. We'll see you next time.